Hey y'all, welcome to the Hospitality House podcast. This is Casey and Caroline. And today we are going to be interviewing a resident that lives in the hospitality house. Okay, so question number one, are you a resident here or do you come here to eat and socialize and hang out and all that? No, I'm a resident here. Okay. How long have you been here? I've been here probably about seven weeks. Cool, cool. Uh, So, what is something that you've learned about, like, living at the hospitality house, and, like, what has it taught you? Uh, well, it's a good place. Uh, they help people. They believe in, uh, lending helping hands as far as, I reckon, just trying to help you get back out onto your home. Yeah. Uh, and it's good. The, The staff here is really awesome, you know. Uh, it's a good place, you know. Mm hmm and good people yeah i agree for sure um would you like to explain a little bit of your story yes i can okay well actually i'm from wilkesboro uh i was down there living you know from day to day under a bridge or staying at my mom's over at night uh walking back for being at the library or just somewhere so you don't get in trouble, you know, mm-hmm. for soliciting or whatever. And so I told a friend that's up here now about what I heard about the place. So he'd come up here and, you know, he'd come back, I'd see him. And, you know, and then I said, well, maybe I might come on up there. So I come up here and w- when I did come up here, you know, they, they had open arms and let me in. And we talked and they went over the rules, regulations and just uh things that they try to help you get through to where you can be back on your own again yeah yeah no that was perfect how'd you hear about the hospitality house i heard it through word of mouth down in wilkesboro at the library nice nice. so that's how i heard about it yeah because i hadn't heard about it until i got up here but i'm from hendersonville do you know where that is yeah, Hendersonville. Yeah, so I hadn't heard anything about it, but I think it's such a great opportunity and place. And I've enjoyed coming here a lot. Um, do you want to ask it? Yeah, sure. Um, do you think Hospitality House has made an impact on you? I know you've only been here for a little bit, but... Yes, I mean, you know, I see how they try to direct you into what way you want to go uh, and be back out onto your own uh they respect you uh they give you good advice you know uh and they're always there for whatever you need them for so do you need more no, that's great <laughs> so do you have a current job right now no i don't mm-hmm. i'm uh, working on trying to get a job and everything cool where and are then, you looking yeah uh i got in different places here uh, apps online and mm-hmm. stuff like that you know so Nice. Um, what do you like to do for fun, like your hobbies? Mm, I like to fish. I like to play basketball. Uh, I like to just socialize, meet different people. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like going to church. Uh, I love the Lord, number one. Yeah, you know, nice. Uh, he's made a big, big impact on my life. Mm-hmm. You know, Good. And hopefully it will throughout right here. Oh, definitely. Definitely. <coughs> Excuse me. No, you're all good. Um, so do you have a current dream that you're striving for at the moment? Yes, uh, just to, uh, understand and know more to be able to help people as much as I can, mm-hmm. give them the word of truth, which is not everybody realize that anymore about the Lord because they took prayer out of school and all that. And I think that's why I hold a lot of this is the way it, that it is. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, and just try to, you know, make better goals and do things as good as I can, what I have, but Lord first and always. Yes. Let's see. Um, So, what are some things that drive you to keep going and trying to find success? Uh, I'll say just uh, trying to maintain uh, a good outlook on life. And uh, respecting everyone and loving everybody and working together as unity like we should. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, I agree. That's my go. Yeah, I like that. Um, would you consider the hospitality house to be like a family to you? Yes. Yeah. Have you seen a lot of support from them and really helping each other? Yes, I have. That's good. Do you think it's made your journey easier? Yes, yes. Good. If you could change one thing about the hospitality house, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> well, we would like to change the world, but the world don't focus on trying to change everything or trying to be, God made us all different. So we are different. But as far as the hospitality house, they are here for you. They give you a place to stay. They love you. Uh, partake in anything that you want them to partake in. So, I don't think that I really would change anything. I just would send prayer out that they would be stronger and help them deal with people because dealing with the public is very hard. I know because I worked at Advance Auto Parts for 13 years and dealing mm -hmm. with people is a job, you know. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. No, you're good. Um, since it's the holiday season, if you could ask for one thing, what would it be? If I could ask for one thing, what would it be? Boy, a million bucks. <laughs> it's a good one. Me too. That's I'm pretty a sure answer. a lot of people feel that way. We know it's yeah, not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you never know. There's a lot of people, man. You never know, right? <laughs> yeah. Through that. Um, do you ever see a certain stereotype against people who come to the hospitality house? Do I ever see anything against people that come to Well, like a certain or? stereotype that people like, um, maybe the public, how the public would view somebody who comes here. Well, well, you can say that in all different kinds of ways. Mm -hmm. I reckon you come here because there's nowhere else that you can come and be in all day long. Like, you know, the place in Wilkesboro, which I don't know if y'all are familiar with it. You can stay there, but you got to leave at 6 in the morning to like 6 in the evening. Mm -hmm. So that's good and bad because then after 14 days, you, you can only do it once a year. So if I had my dream, here's what I would do if you want my opinion on mm -hmm. it. Okay, if I was a millionaire, what I would do was I would come in, sit down, talk to the people, make sure they've been treated okay. And I might not donate that place money, but I'll get them what they need for the people. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that's an amazing idea. And make sure that they know that. Jesus, number one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that I would, like that. Would, that is what I would do personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. I respect that a lot. Um, I think that's what a lot of people should be doing. Yes, I agree. <laughs> people don't know what to do with their money. <laughs> that's, and that's true, you know? Yeah. Yeah. People have so much of it nowadays that they just, I don't know, they blow it on cars that they don't need and whatever else. Well, what I want to do is uh, make a good impact always on what I believe, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Best thing, you know? I For lived sure. a whole lot of different ways growing up and then grow up rich. I was, I was grew up poor, but, you know, we made it and we had just a mother. My dad, he was never around, so. But we still, you know, we worked when we was 15 and a half years old. We used to have to have a work permit. It's a long story to yeah. it. But like, y'all yeah. might not know that, but as yeah. you go back a little, it, you know. I'm proud of my mom. She was awesome. That's yeah. good. That's a big part of it, having somebody to support you and be there for you. That's right. And look where you are now. <laughs> it ain't where I want to be, but... But that's okay. You, you'll always okay. have opportunities to help yourself get out of it. And yeah. That's right. At least you're doing something to help yourself. That's the main thing. And you seem like a really selfless person. Yeah, Multiple you times you were like, well, that's I just want to help other people. And like, mm -hmm. Jesus is a really cool way through that. I appreciate that. If we had a lot more people like that, we'll make it a better place. But yeah. we know everybody's different, so. Yeah, for you know, sure. Just yeah. according on what you've been through. To where you mature, to where you, you know, you need to be. You know, yeah. what I mean? I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not where I used to be. So there you go. Yeah. See, yeah, that's a really good improvement. So. Yeah, I think so. Definitely. Um, where do you see yourself in ten years? Ten years. Uh, 
hopefully to have my own uh, place established. Maybe a place where people can come and pray if you want to pray, no matter what time it is, or if you need something, I will be there to be able to help you and, you know, just use myself in a human way. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. What does your day-to-day -day schedule look like? Like, what do you do? During the day, uh, sometimes I ride the bus. Uh, I pray. I don't read my word like I, I should, because you should read the word at all times, no matter what you're right. doing in your life. But And, you know, just uh, meeting different people and seeing what side they have been or what they're going through, or maybe something I can help them, or maybe something they can tell me could help me. You know, that's about the way I take it as. You know. Nice. What do you want the people in Boone and the surrounding areas to know about the Hospitality House? That it's an awesome place. I really agree. Is. So, you know, they have a lot to give. The staff is really concerned uh, about your well-doing and well-being or however, and anything you go towards doing, they will help you. And that's a guarantee, so that's, that's the best of it all. Good. Yeah, I've been here a few times, and I've seen how supportive they are. They really seem like a caring group of people. Yes, they are. Especially Ethan. He's really great. Yeah. Guy. He's awesome. Yeah. Yes. I agree. Well, is there anything you'd like to elaborate on or add anything that we didn't ask you or anything that you feel was left out? No, I think we pretty much covered anything unless you have anything else you, you, you want to ask of me. or, But I think the hospitality place is an awesome place. Uh, they give you what you need when you come here. The staff is very, uh, you know, uh, lending out a hand to whatever you need mm -hmm. and going through things for you. So I think it's an awesome place. That's Good. my personal opinion. Yeah. Thank you so much for letting yeah. us interview you. It You're means welcome. a lot for you to be willing to tell your uh, story. It does. Thank you. Mm -hmm.